Hey guys, this is 2G Wolf and I'm back! That's right, we're here to take on Drayden, the seventh gym leader in Pokemon White 2. So, we're here to take, well, yeah, I'm, now I'm repeating myself, we're here to take on Drayden. He uses Dragon type, so this could be a very rough battle, especially since Dragons are pretty offensive Pokemon. They have really killer attack stats, so you will want to be careful of that. So I'm leading with my Lucario, and I'm going to hit with the Dragon Pulse. I got a critical hit, which almost took it out in one hit. But it was just shy of KOing it, so now I'm just going to use a Super Potion, or Hyper Potion, correction. Just go for another Dragon Pulse, take it out. Oh, I'm going to be shy of KOing it again, never mind. He's going for a slash. Now this won't be very effective because I'm part steel type. Which is your friend in this gym, let me tell you. Because dragons do neutral damage to everything except for steel type. And of course other dragons, which it, in that case it's super effective. So now he's going for the Flygon. I'm going to rotate out to Samurott here and go for the Blizzard for the four times super effective hit. Could go with Electabuzz, but Electabuzz really can't handle an Earth Power, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be faster when it comes to Flygon. I do know Electabuzz is fast, but I don't think he's faster than Flygon. So I'm just going for the Blizzard here to play it safe. And that KOs it in one hit. Pretty much any ice type would do that. Any ice move you might have. Okay, it looks like I'm getting the Aqua Tail here. I will replace that with Razor Shell. Alright. Now he's going to send out his Haxorus. Now this is the toughest Pokemon on his team. Um it will Dragon Dance, so be careful of that. And then it will proceed to Dragon Tail you to force you out. So, I'm going to go for the Blizzard, hoping it won't miss. And it didn't, which is really good news for me. And it took out, oh, critical hit. That's probably why it took it out in one hit. So I got lucky with crits. All in all, not bad. So that's a Drayden. Wonderful. I am grateful we had a chance to meet in battle. It reminded me of, of that Pokemon battles are about working with others to meet. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, he gives you the Legend Badge. So that is our seventh badge, which means we're one away from taking on the Pokemon League. That's right. Well now, you've obtained seven of the gym badges in Unova. That means Pokemon up to level 80 will obey you. Alright. Also, he gives you TM82 Dragon Tail. And Dragon Tail basically does damage and then forces your Pokemon out. So it's a pretty good phasing move, except for the fact it doesn't work too well when it comes down to Substitute. And the sad thing about this gym is there's no quick way out. You just gotta keep stepping on this down button. What a bummer. Alright. He also will tell us about the dragon Pokemon when we get out here. I'll show you the way. Follow me. So we're going to his house.
and he will tell us about the legendary dragon Pokemon. This way. Alright. Probably should go heal. Come on inside. Alright. Let me tell you the story. It's a long story, but listen closely. It was two years ago when the two dragon Pokemon were awakened. The white dragon, Reshiram, sought what is true with the desire to usher in a new world of goodness. And the black dragon, Zekrom, pursued what is ideal and to, with the desire to usher in a new world of hope. Reshiram and Zekrom were once a single Pokemon. You may wonder why it split in two. The single dragon Pokemon had helped the twin heroes bring in a new region into being. But the twin heroes, the younger brother who sought ideals and the older brother who sought truth, sundered the region in two as they fought to see which of them was right. In that desperate hour, the single dragon Pokemon split its body into a white and a black Pokemon even though ideals and truth don't need to be in opposition. As the story goes, a third dragon Pokemon, Hiram, also came into existence in that era. And there may be proof of this to be found in a treasure passed down by my family for generations, the DNA splicers. Professor Juniper's research determined that the materials in the splicers date back to the same era as the materials used in the building Dragon Spiral Tower. Oh, the DNA splicers are stored very safely. I guard them because I don't know what kind of power might lie within them. But here's what's been bothering me. Could there be one more Dragon Pokemon? Even if Kyrim really does exist, we don't know what kind of Pokemon it is. For starters, the two Pokemon in the wait, the two Pokemon, the ancient Pokemon, split into split into are both overwhelmingly powerful. So if Kyrim exists, could it just be a husk, a shell of what was left over? Boom. Hmm. What was that sound? All right, let's go investigate, shall we? What was that? Uh-oh. It's a flying boat. Because boats totally fly. Uh-oh. That's a cannon. Kaboom! Well, that's not cool. Man, Team Plasma really needs to chill. Huh, <laughs> pun intended. Alright. This world of ice. Haxorus, use Dragon Tail. Rawr, rawr. Hmm? Huh? That's enough, Haxorus. Not only did that ice stay unbroken, but it not even a scratch in it. What's going on? I don't think that's going to work. Oh, no, not Team Plasma. Anyways, we're reaching the end of our video, so we'll see exactly what Team Plasma's up to here. Well, obviously, they're trying to freeze everything, but it doesn't stop there. Alright, guys, this is 2G Wolf, and I'll see you all next time.